Morning and welcome to Sparks. You know, if you watch any of those crime shows, which I love to watch, um, you realize that according to psychologists, our personalities are a mixture of our gen genetic makeup and our environment. See, some people say that we inherit our father's temper or our mother's moodiness or whatever. And this might prompt us to blame our behavior on our parents. It's your genes that are making me do this. But similarly, we're also tempted to blame our behavior on our environment. Some people claim that they act a certain way because they were raised in a poor family from the wrong side of the tracks. Or others might explain that their outbursts of anger um, is because their father abused them. This is commonly used in our society today. But the Bible teaches that we are free moral agent, meaning that our behavior is ultimately our responsibility. We can't blame our genes or our parents or our environment for our bad behavior. We can only blame ourselves. 1 Corinthians 5.11 says that. Coming to terms with our moral responsibility means taking, taking us to a level of maturity that many of us would like to avoid because it's painful at times. The boy in us wants to blame others for our wrongdoing. We may choose a role model and try and emulate his behavior, but ultimately we can't be blamed. We can't be blamed for our sin. We want to find somebody else to blame it on, be it a role model, environment, genes or something like that. If our environment plays an important role in our personality, we can take this into account. For example, we can choose the right friends. If you say, oh, I've been badly influenced by my friends. Well, who chose those friends? You know, you can't blame somebody else for choosing your friends for you. Uh, you can choose your acquaintances. You can choose your role models who live exemplary. If you choose the right people to follow, if you choose the right principles to follow, then your life will not finish as a mess. And even in the church, we need to be careful about whom we emulate. We need to choose men of God who live consistent Christ-like lives to be our role models and our friends. So today, don't blame your genes. Don't blame your circumstances. Don't blame your friends or your acquaintances. Choose the right ones wisely and take responsibility for your sin, then just confess it and move on. It's a simple procedure, but that's how you grow in the kingdom of God. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.